Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a deliciously simple cabbage and fresh herb salad. Very versatile. Think of it as a Middle Eastern coleslaw without the mayonnaise, so it's healthier. We'll start with about a quarter of a cabbage. If you've got any dark green outer leaves, get rid of them. If you've got any oxidation, which often happen, happens when cabbage is stored, we'll just get rid of that as well. And then we're just going to shave it as finely as we can. We want to get rid of that stalk in the middle, if there is one, there it is. We'll just cut him out. And then I think the rest is good to go. So knife skills, slow and steady, as finely as you can. It doesn't really matter, but I find fine is best for this salad. Whenever I shave cabbage or lettuce like this, I remember my darling grandmother who used to shave an iceberg lettuce within an inch of its life to make the most delicious iceberg salad. Now once we've got that all shaved, that's going to go into the bowl with some onion and some herbs. And we're just going to get rid of any coarse bits like that that are left. I don't really want those thick stem parts in this salad. So we'll break off the loose bits. We'll get rid of the coarse bits. You can throw them in the stock pot or use them for something else. And into the bowl with our finely shaved cabbage. Now this doesn't belong in any one place in the Middle East. I think cabbage salads and certainly herb salads are quite popular throughout the Middle East. Now in there, and some red onion, again, I think finely shaved is best. You can use half an onion, you can use a whole onion. It depends how much you like raw onion in your salads. This salad's going to have quite a tangy dressing of lemon juice and olive oil, and that will start to, I guess, cook the onion to some extent, so it's not going to taste as raw as if you ate a piece of it like this. And this is also a great salad, I find, to keep overnight. It doesn't need it, but it's still great the next day, despite the herbs, because the onion and the cabbage keep their body and their shape. So onion in the bowl, and now we just want our herbs. And again, it's a rustic salad, so there's no precise measurements and there's no precise rules. You want about two handfuls of herbs, this is a great chance to raid the herb garden, and if you've been cooking with us for a while, I know your herb garden's looking pretty good. And also to use up those half bunches of herbs that seem to accumulate in the crisper. With, sorry, that doesn't go in there. Uh, with things like coriander, you can certainly use the finer stems. You don't want to go right down to the root end, but you also don't need to painstakingly pick every leaf. I have some beautiful mint here from my garden. Mint's very typical in a lot of Middle Eastern dishes. It is quite strong, so I wouldn't use as much mint, say, as I'm using coriander or parsley, but certainly a handful of mint is great in this. And also from my garden, oregano, some of it started to flower. How gorgeous is that? So in this case, we definitely don't want the stems. They're too coarse. We're just going to pick off the leaves. You could use a little bit of basil. Again, not too much because it is quite strong. Uh, dill, if you had dill, would be lovely. Any of the soft herbs. I wouldn't bother with something like rosemary in this case or thyme, but any of the softer leafy herbs will be fabulous. So about two handfuls. As with the coriander, if you're using parsley, you can take the soft stem, so don't cut too far down, but don't painstakingly cut every leaf either. And once we've got about two handfuls of our herbs, we're just going to chop them up roughly. We don't want to mash them, but I think we'll just run the knife through them and toss them through our cabbage and onion. So we have our herbs there ready to go into the bowl and 
then a classic Middle Eastern Mediterranean dressing, some lemon juice, a good pinch of salt, and a very generous glug of olive oil. Now, I want this to be quite lemony, so I'm going to use about one part lemon juice to two parts olive oil. And yes, I'm going to get in there with my hands and toss it all together. There we are, all nicely combined into a serving bowl. Now, I do think this salad benefits from sitting around for at least a little while, so I'd make it about half an hour and dress it about half an hour before you're ready to serve it. If you need to leave it sit for a bit longer, that's fine too. If you leave it overnight, any leftovers, the soft herbs will wilt, but the cabbage and the onion still has plenty of texture, so it's delicious even then. Enjoy.